Good evening. Welcome to the study of the Moonscar residents, population 7, if you include the deceased and cats. My name is Sterling Moonscar, and as always, I'm your host. This evening, I've decided to take a break from the typical paranormal investigations that I do, in order to help you viewers at home. Recently, our mailbox has been flooded with your letters. We've quadrupled our amount from the last month, this time to three. Usually, I don't trust the Postal Service, or anyone else who doesn't work on a Sunday, for that matter. But I'll make an exception for my loyal fans. We live in a world where even the simplest of concepts are shrouded in mystery and lies. As a renowned journalist, it is my civic duty to reveal the secrets that I uncover. I am Sterling Moonscar, and this is Conspiracy Unmasked. Time to read our first letter. be a complicated letter. Dear Sterling, the government is pulling the wool over our eyes. There are four exclamation points, and one of them is a one. This must be serious. They say that we landed on the moon in the 60s, but we all know that isn't true. Please prove that the moon has never been walked on by human feet. From Ryan, Cincinnati, Canada. Well, Ryan, I'm going to prove this to you right now. There it is! You see a flag? You see a flag on the moon? Because I don't. There's no evidence to show that the moon landing was real. Therefore, it's fake. Conspiracy unmasked. Okay, now that that's all done, time for the next letter. Dear Sterling, the light in my fridge goes on when I open it, even when it's in the morning. What makes the light turn on? My brother Kevin says there's a switch, but I do not see it when I open the fridge. From Dylan, age 7, Missouri. Well, Dylan, I've often wondered this myself. Your brother may seem smarter because he's older, but he's actually quite naive. The light in the fridge is actually ice fairies the same ones that use their magic to keep your food cold. I've tried to catch the fairies sleeping on the job, but like you, I've never been able to. They're also responsible for making produce companies millions every year when they decide to make food go bad on its expiration date. Did you see that? You got that, right? Like seriously, you I, I can't believe that. Like, that, that just happened. I, I saw them in there. I saw Did you see them? You, you saw them, right? You saw them? It's one hell of a discovery. Well, Dylan, I hope you learned a thing or two about fridges, because I certainly did. Maybe you can teach your brother a thing or two about how fridges work. Now on to the final letter. Mr. Moonscar, the country is split between those who demand that President Obama show his birth certificate and those who take the president's word and need no further proof. What is your opinion on this birth certificate business? Should he be required to present one to the public? Eric A. London, Mass. Well, just so happens that I have my birth certificate in my study at all times. This is my glorious birth certificate. I keep it in my study, in my most treasured book. My father read me a story from this book once. <laughs> Please note the authenticity of this document. Birth certificates do in fact exist. Conspiracy unmasked. I'd like to thank all of my fans for writing in and making today such a great day. We've uncovered some of the most perplexing mysteries the world has ever seen. Today was just like my boyhood birthdays, 
only with more mail to read and more friends around.